Okay. Well, that's what it is. You still left out. Okay. Anyways, back to my monologue. Happy 2024. <laughs> okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. A little bit, but you choppy. You choppy, but we can hear you. Can you hear me now? Good. Yeah. Might have been lying. Yeah. No. No. Can you hear me? It's yes, uh, in and out. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm not going to Hey, he just got paid, make a run in a jeep. He won't be cruising Los Angeles. Okay. Just want everybody on me. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So find this me and my crew. Y'all, what? You still can't hear me? Like you going in and out, like it's real, like you know, like when you said you still can't hear me, yeah, I heard you, but can I hear you now? It's like choppy. Thank you, Sharice. Was... You, you, you look, you look amazing. Saying. If that means anything, you know, you look great. <laughs> Maybe dial in your phone. Wrong. That's a whole other task. Hold on. Um. All right. No, you're sounding good right now. now. Let's keep it going. You're sounding good it's now. Consistent. It's uh, consistent, too. It's consistent. Oh, all right. Well, you know, we like consistency. All right, let's start this over. I hope that your 2024 is going better than the beginning of this meeting. Is it being recorded now? Jesus Christ. Yes? All right. Still being recorded. Oh, all of that got recorded? All right. Well, here we go. Here's what it is. Um, so, anyways... Welcome to the first town hall of the quarter. Um, raise your hand if you are a new member. Because we want to say welcome to all of us. Jit will, please. Can we get a quick hand raise for any new members? Okay, by new, I mean since the last town hall, not like it's January new. Allison Tucker. Hi, Sunny from Phoenix. Allison, what um, chapter are you in? I'm in Chicago, so national. Hi. Hi. National members. Everybody else has been here hanging out. All right. Well, Sunny, um, 
is the leader of the chapter of Phoenix. So if we can, you know, give a warm welcome to our new members that have a attended the meeting. Super excited to have you. I really love what you've been doing over there in um, Phoenix, Sunny. I see it. I see how hard you're trying to pull this on, pull this together. Um, feel free to use the chat. You know, this is very informal. I just want to give some information, check in with everybody, um, say happy new year, all the things. Um, okay, so I have a list of things. I have to go through them. All right, so this theme of this town hall is going is is protection. And I want to start with a question and I want you to kind of think about that. What does protection mean to you? Um, and I don't just, when people think about protection, a lot of times they think about physical protection, you know, harm that comes from a physical standpoint. But what does it feel like, or what does it mean to be protected by a community? And um, when I say that, for example, if something was to happen to me, right? If I was to pass away, if I became in um, it, unable to run this organization, or if I needed to, you know, move in with my billionaire husband and, you know, focus on just living, <laughs> um, who would take this over, right? Who who would continue the work? Who would protect this community and what we've built? Like those are thoughts that we need to consider as we move along. Um, what and what would that look like if someone came in and they were not moving this organization along with the freedom that we need? What does that kind of protection look like? What does it look and feel like to protect each other um, as community members? Audrey Lord said, "Without community, there is no liberation." but community must not mean shedding our differences. And I think that that is a perfect description of what we are building um, with the Hugh Society. And I say we, I mean all of us, because I'm gonna drive this home every single time you see me. This is not about me or a Tahara project. This is about us and our own collective freedom and liberation and what that looks like. And it's different for everybody, but Part of the reason, something else to consider, that the, the the movement with Dr. King, whose birthday is next week, part of the reason why that movement was successful and they were able to move things along and, and create progress is because everybody had a role in a community and everybody's role in a community was important and everybody played their role in a community. Not everybody could be a leader, right? Sometimes you had the people who did the cooking for the people who were marching in the front, right? You had people who were patching people up. Everybody had a position in the community that they were playing and that is how liberation happens. If everybody knows their role, everybody plays their role actively and participates. There, We cannot be passive in um, reaching for what freedom looks like to us. And sometimes we think that freedom is this grandiose thing where we, we're kind of walking around naked or something like that. And it's not. Freedom is the ability to exist, get off of work in a white dominated space and come to a group of people who love you just for existing. That is freedom. And we've not had that freedom in this country, that freedom does not exist for a lot of us in a lot of places. And so I protect that freedom in this organization with everything, because that to me is the most important thing that we have, is our mental safety, our mental liberation. And if you don't have it anywhere else, you should be able to find it here. And that's incredibly important to me. And so I just want everybody to think about that when we say roles in a community, it doesn't always mean that you have to be in the forefront. You have to be laboring so hard. You don't have to be me. You don't have to um, be the face of things, but everybody has to play their part, right, for this to work. And everybody is important. Every single person 
in this organization is important and the, in your role and what that means is important. And part of that is showing up when you can, um, using your talents, your skills and your abilities because we all have them where you can. Um, offering support where you can. Um, the things that are necessary, I'm sorry if you hear kids bop in the back, my daughter's having a concert in the shower. <laughs> um, and it's distracting me. Uh, but the things yeah. that are incredibly important to the us thriving as human beings in the reclamation of our humanity on a regular basis is dependent upon us protecting and taking care of each other. Um, and so I just want to open up with that. Um, and there are people who know me very well. And there are people who um, are just getting to know me or people only see me on. Uh, <laughs> you just need some alcohol. You need some cheap, bro. Okay, Janine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, and um, I think I just did a podcast. I, I say that because I just did a podcast. Um, and it'll go out over the listserv. But if you have an opportunity to listen to it, you should listen to it. You should. And it will give you a lot of insight into my work. It will give you a lot of insight into how I got to this place why this exists, why I'm so protective of it and you and all these other things um, and, and and how I think and how I work and my ethos. And I think that that's important because it will help you to understand where we're going with this um, and why it is important. So give it a listen if you, if you choose. <laughs> you don't have to, but I'm just saying. Um, but um, I think that that, that would be uh, we will be sending out the link, Sunny. She's going to send out the link um, either tonight or tomorrow, but it will go out. Um, also, if you are on Instagram, I think it's in my bio. <laughs> Hi, ADHD. Don't just go with it. It's not there. Just remember, it's you're going to get it. So, uh, you know, let it go. Um, and so... I want to ask you some questions at this point. We will go through this quarter programming, um, all the amazing things that we have coming up. But I want to first, you know, have just like a mini discussion about how we're showing up for each other, how we're protecting each other, and what does that mean? So the first question that I had, and anybody is free to kind of pop up um pop off um hop off hop off of mute and answer you know at your at your leisure um do you feel safe here and that you know you could just raise your hand is there anybody who does not feel safe there okay um, what does community community mean to you? Um, and along the lines of having the responsibility to protect each other. Is there a brave soul? Uh, um, community means uh safe, safety and security but to your point beyond uh physical uh and emotional state safety um to to li live free um is is as simple as i put it anybody else want to chime in jump in um i'll add for me community is having a group of like-minded people if you share the same interest on some level. You may not have the same interest in each and everything, but you do have one common interest. Yeah. And I'll add that um, when I think of community, I think of the importance of understanding that your wellness is in part is important to the whole, as well mm -hmm. as the the wellness of the whole being important to your wellness as well. It being a reciprocal thing. Yes. Agreed. 
Um, Cherie said the ability to show up authentically you and not having to apologize. Yes, ma'am. Um, is anybody, does anybody else want to say something? So let me ask you another question, a lead in. Uh, Natasha said creating a space where there is support and advocacy for you and your needs. Uh, Francesca said, Francesca said, community to me means that your liberation is bound up in mine and we support one another. Yes. <laughs> Love these definitions. Um, the ability to off be authentic yourself is huge, Sharice. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> I thought you were saying something. Well, thanks, thanks for your input, Will. That's, that's true, though. Um, and so my next, my follow-up question, um, Kia said, community is an extension of your family, fully support it, and be yourself unapologetically. Yes. And so I hope that we are laying the groundwork for all of those things or that the groundwork has been laid for all of those things because that was the intention of this. And so my next question is, if you was in these streets and you heard somebody trying to harm me, sully my name, talk trash, blah, 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 like the whole nine. How many of you, <laughs> it's so exciting. How many of you would chime in there? How many of you would protect my name or the name of this organization in that situation? Remember I said I would come to Brooklyn for the main rings? Oh yeah, I saw I'm I'm rolling. <laughs> We'll talk about that after this. Somebody said my goddamn earrings in New York. If you knew how I felt about my earrings. <laughs> um, great. And this was, this isn't a, a loyalty test, but um, I'm asking that because I want to build that where you feel that kind of protection over everybody in this organization and not just me because I am the founder or the leader, right? I would do that for any of you. Don't fucking play with my people. Don't play with my community. And everybody knows that about me. And I want to facilitate that for everybody, right? I'm not saying you got to go beat people up and jump people or any of those kinds of things, but I want this organization to be so strong. I want the but will please stop distracting me. I want <laughs> um, this organization to be so strong. I want the name of this organization and the people who are part of this organization to be so strong that it's unfuckwithable. People know not to fuck with these people, right? You know, if I say I'm a part of Hugh Society, you know not to try and play with me. That's what this should look like. From not just from a chapter perspective. I think the chapters have that down. What I'm talking about is interstate. And now internationally, right? We'll get to the international part, but I want you to think about what it looks like from a perspective of being a part of a community and being a part of something that is so strong that you are rallying for each other. You ain't got to be out here arguing with nobody. You ain't got to be, in, you know, taking it to the streets, whatever, whatever. But it should feel like that to people. It should feel like that immediately. Like, oh, she did. Yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm going I'm to just let that ride. Because I, I, I don't want to deal with the amount of people that I'm going to have to deal with to get to this person. And every one of us should feel protected that way. And if you don't now... By the end of this year, I'm hoping that the next time we're having this conversation, everybody can raise their hand and say they feel like that because that is the goal. Um, yes, we have to have each other's back. There is no three ways about that. Um, in ways in which we can facilitate that, in ways in which we can make sure that everyone is feeling seen and loved and hurt is simple, right? We might not all be in the same room. We are all on social media for the most part, right? If you, you know we have a new member and 
the the new the new a new chapters coming in. Everybody's jumping in the comments. Welcome, so happy to have you. Blah blah blah. Like making these people feel great. All of these chapters are not as big as yours, and I want you to start thinking outside of the perspective of your own chapter as well, right? There are some chapters that are very small, and they need that support. They need that online support. They need to feel like they are a part of a family. There are some chapters that are building from scratch that need that support. They need that enthusiasm from you. There are some chapters that are rebuilding. Um, and I think that's important. If there is an event that's going on and you know somebody's having an event, post it. If it's just a, even in your stories, post it. Yo, my, my he family and such and such is having this. You don't know what your reach is. And that's not assuming that everybody has this spectacular social media presence and or uh, following and all the rest of that stuff. But you you still don't know what that following can lead to. Those few people, you don't know who knows who. But it's just, it's the, the visual of it. Everybody posting the same thing. You know, Phoenix just open. Everybody's in Phoenix comment. Everybody's following Phoenix. Everybody's following New York. Everybody's following Atlanta. Everybody's following Philly, right? Everybody's following Charlotte. All of these things are super important and they're easy lists. Not putting you on social media management. I'm just saying that that is a way in which you can show your love and support and encouragement for your fellow chapter members because it is not easy being in spaces, especially if it's a smaller chapter and you're in a very white specific space to be there by yourself trying to build this and also dealing with that and then feeling kind of alone. We shouldn't feel alone. Um, showing up at your own chapter events, showing your leadership love, super important, right? Like showing other leaders love. I'm in that, you know, I'm not going to try and put you on the spot, but I am about to put you on the spot, but Trent, Trent be about it. And I, I, I don't know anybody on here that can say that that's, I, I've seen like the transformation, um, New York chapter is in everything, right? Social media wise, everything. Post everybody's stuff, supports. Like, and if you don't feel that, I don't know what's like where you are. I feel it. And she's, you know, not they are not even necessarily targeting towards me in, in that way. But everybody, but you can genuinely feel the love there. And that is what I want from all of us to continue that on and reciprocate that. Reciprocity is so easy sometimes and such a, a, a small thing to do with such a huge impact. So, you know, let's think about cheering each other on. Let's think about cross chapter collaborations. We've talked about this before. You know, um. Let's think about our skill sets. Let's think about things that, hey, I have a dream. I want to, oh, and Martin, um, you know, I have things that I want to get done. I have goals, you know, for this year. Everybody's kind of moving forward in like what we're trying to do this year. Um, and I can feel that energy. I feel that that intensity of, you know, moving forward and making sure that we are all progressing. I feel that. We can do that together too, and we can support each other in that. You got something going on, and you send the nationals, we're gonna send it out. Right? The other thing is tagging people. If you, not everybody, first of all, the algorithm rhythm is a piece of doo doo. It's poppycock at this point, right? Um, but if you tag people, particularly if you tag the chapters, which is the easiest way to do that it's easy for them to repost it into their stories then, right? Like, I also don't want to set expectations like, oh, I'm a part of this and, you know, you should be doing this or you should, or you got to do this. That's not, that's not what I'm saying. I want it to be organic and um, from love, but it also has to be approachable. It also has to be available, right? So let's make it as easy as possible for people to support you. Um, I don't run the Hugh Society social media page. I think I've said this before. And um, the person that runs it does not know all of you. 
So if you are posting something and you're upset because we're not reposting it or we hadn't seen it or we didn't come, we don't know. The best thing you can do is tag us. Usually if you tag us, it's going up. It's either going as a post or it's going as a story. But you have to also let people know that you're here. So I, you know, I just want to make sure that you know, we're covering these bases and um, being there for each other as much as we can. Um, I, I really, really enjoy the um, the friendly competitions. Um, I think that that's amazing. I think that it creates this dynamic and it makes everything look fun. And uh, if you know me at all, you know I love talking shit. It's just from Philly. I grew up with boys. I don't tell you, but um, I enjoy talk shit and I enjoy good shit talk. I enjoy watching this banter back and forth. You know, I'm sure other people love it too, but imagine being on the outside of the organization and seeing that um, and how funny and fun that is. So that's just, again, another easy way, like make it fun for yourself. Um, and also, you know, try as much as you can to get your needs met and be communicative and all of these things because you have something so unique right now sitting right in your lap. So many opportunities, so many ways to grow, so much safety, right? You are a part of an organization that is built on connection, safety, and in an affirming, affirming environment. And I don't know where else you're going to find that outside of like your house. And sometimes it's not even there. Um, so, you know, take advantage of that. Understand what this is and what you're a part of. Like, this is a huge organization. Um, it's a global organization. It has a reach that is far further than anything in the United States. And people see that. They recognize that. We are the shit. Remember that and carry yourself that way. Um trying to see make sure that I covered everything um I think so does anybody have any any comments any thought processes that piss anybody off nah nah you ain't, you ain't piss me off but just you spoke to my spirit as you always do you're so divine um but you know like this is being vulnerable for a moment like I just felt like when I relocated to Michigan I I should have been a lot more intentional um and thinking that I had a little bit more time to settle in with relocating from Atlanta and how uh, disheartened I was and, and how personal I took it for the Detroit chapter to come to an end before I was able to actively participate in, in doing anything to save it or whatever it is that I could have um, done there. And I remember just talking to my partner and being really emotional about it because I had think I was able to attend one meeting with them and it was a phenomenal team and I still plan to you know connect with them you know down now that I'm here and, and to your point maybe hopefully restart that chapter but um but like I said I really like you know what I mean I just I just felt bad even when I received the email you know of inquiring which chapter I wanted to join uh post the closing and I'm just like I was just like apologizing in the email I'm just like you know I you know I I, I apologize for, for not, not doing more even though I you know had only been here about four months or so um just once again, still being very intentional because I'm still very much a part of this organization. And not to say that it's a part of my identity, but if we, to your point, consider it to be a family, um, then I should have made it more of a priority um, for, for that camaraderie to see how it is that we can stabilize that chapter a little bit more. Um, so I just wanted to share my story. That's it. I appreciate you saying that. And um, you know, I understand where you're coming from. And you can only do what you can do. I just, um, I raised my hand. I don't want to cut anyone off, but I'm from Detroit and that's my house. Like I'm back and forth. So what happened? Because I still have people who calling me like, what is this? And why uh, haven't I been a part of it? Or why I'm, I've been in the liquor business in Detroit for 25 years. So if you want to want some heavy hitters, I got you. <laughs> I'll get you all the restaurants. All of the, I'm, I'm still doing things there. I have things with the Pistons at the end of this month, and the NFL draft is coming up. Yeah. The Hill Society should have a present. 
Yeah. Like, hey, I don't know enough about the history to tell you what went wrong, but I know even I though I may not, way. you know, I, I wish I was part of, of the solution, even if I wasn't actively a part of the problem, you know, that is, that's all I'm, I'm admitting to. But I'll get some more information for you, Sonny, and see how we can uh, rebuild that. Like, I'm in Canton. If it's not 100% done for, I can get you some people to run with for sure that are it was looking. two leaders i think that left right prior to me leaving atlanta but go, go ahead i'm sorry Tara. yeah let me just address this real quick so i don't think everybody even knew that detroit kind of dissolved um Aww. but unfortunately that's that's what happened and um it it comes up a lot in the different chapters um it really really breaks my heart but the two people who are leading it could not get any participation from the people in the chapter. And by participation, I mean, and I mean, just basic human responses. Yeah, because I had a couple of people ask me how to join, but I told them to join nationally because they didn't get a response back. But they ended it on an event at a friend of mine's bar, a wine bar that she just opened. So I don't know, that was the last event and I don't know what happened, but Chuck Jackson is a, is my mentor in the wine industry. So I don't know, if you guys want to bring it back, I have some leaders for you. Yeah, <laughs> and no, it's kind of like-minded. Yeah. So. It's not a definite, you know, done. It's just, they were carrying everything and, you know, they had their own life going on with like big, um things going on so one's getting married another's transitioning from something else and it just if this happens off this is happening with philadelphia right now this is happening with california right i don't know how else to motivate people to show up and this is why i keep saying the same thing you have to show up you have to communicate you know i don't expect anybody to make this your life or drop anything blah blah this is supposed to be a happy place like literally it's supposed to be a happy place and so um i haven't heard no i haven't heard no yet <laughs> i haven't heard no from you guys not one time even Shay was like do what you want to do the study you know even yesterday in our meeting she mentioned um uh, that you wanted us to be more active on social media and i got it and then new york you know she promised me a training class on social media posts so hey <laughs> I'm waiting on that <laughs> for sure to start designing but um, I really appreciate everything that you just said I appreciate everybody and if there's anything that I can help in different cities and states I'm for sure I just wanted to know how to combine it all but you seem to be discussing that now so I'm going back on you <laughs> okay thank you for your contribution I appreciate you even you know jumping in and saying anything but um yeah, it's uh, this is what's going to happen, and it's not a threat. Like I've never, I never brought this up. I've never mentioned this. I try to keep that very internal, um, because we try to deal with it internally. But that's that's the end result, right? Like at some point, it will dissolve. That doesn't mean it can't reopen or, or any of the rest of that stuff. But at some point, if you're not showing up for the people who are trying to lead the chapter, who are putting their effort and energy into building things for you and I and I'm gonna say this and it might piss some people off but I don't feel like y'all treat white people like this and I'm not talking about the people that's here because you here but there are certain things that I feel like go on that I don't feel like you would treat white people like that so I'm just gonna say that and it's just it's gonna be what it is um but we're going to move on um and we're going to talk about programming. One last note, the code of conduct. Need that B? I need you to run that, run that back to me. If you have not done that, please run it in. <laughs> um, we're going to talk about programming. I'm going to talk about the Wine Culture Fest, um, a very exciting uh, collaboration, another huge collaboration that we have coming up in Italy. And then I'm going to turn it over to Natasha, um, who is, I don't know if you guys have ever met Natasha, 
because this is, I think, more people than the the events that she has led, which I'm really happy about. But um, Natasha is our program director. She puts together the programming for the overall national body. And so if you haven't met her, you're going to get a chance to meet her in her country accents now <laughs> in a second. Um, so let me, we'll need, we'll need to turn his in twice. <laughs> That's funny. I'm already packing up, Sheree. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so Wine and Culture Fest, I'm not going to go too deep into it, but in case you don't know, the dates are July the 11th through the 14th. And we have moved it to D.C. It is in D.C. That is not a um, I love D.C. the most kind of thing as they, as Will is going to try and spin it into. It's but not, that's what you told me on the call the other day. Stop, see, stop that shit. I told you. Like, <laughs> that's not, I never, that's not true. <laughs> I love everybody equally, okay? But um, we moved it to D.C. because it makes more sense for people to be able to um, travel into versus Atlanta. It's easy to hop on a train from New York, Philly, you know, Baltimore, all of the places. Um, and we're hoping to get more members to be able to participate this way. So excited about that. The other thing is, wait, does anybody have any questions or comments before I move on? Have you guys happened to narrow down a weekend yet for, um, or a week yet for uh, Wine for Culture July Fest? 11 through 14. 11 through the 14th, okay. The Wine and Culture Fest is July 11 through the 14th. <clears throat> and it's going to be a, a pretty big deal. We already have some really great partnerships lined up. So um, what else? Okay, the next thing before I get to Italy. Uh, I have a question. Sorry. Um, when will you be releasing um, like hotel information if there's any type of host hotel this year or room blocks or things like that? Yes, we will be releasing that hopefully by um, the end of the month. We are okay. still narrowing down who the host hotel is going to be. It's a fight. Your discounts. It's a fight to the discounts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be announcing that soon. Um, let me see. Oh, what was I talking about? Hold on. Go back. Really? Oh. Yes. Charleston. So really big announcement. It hasn't even been announced publicly yet, but it will be coming out. Um, we are doing a partnership with Charleston Food and Wine. Never been done before. So um, the partnership is going to be an externship. We're going to take 10 to 12 people as externs to come and um, do this with the chefs, the psalms, and the professionals as a part of Charleston Food and Wine. So you spend the entire weekend with a mentor who will continue to be your mentor after um, the event. You have to be a active member of the Hugh Society. This is for Hugh Society members only. This is not a public thing. It will go out publicly, but it's not a public thing. You have to be a, a active member of the Hugh Society. Um, and so as a part of the externship, you will get paired with, depending on what you decide that, you know, your interest is going to be, you will either get paired with a chef, um, a distributor, a wine professional, um, a psalm, something along those lines. And you will be at Charleston Food and Wine from the 6th to the 10th. So if you've never been to Charleston Food and Wine, it's a really, really good time. Um, like really good time. <laughs> um, and it's it's a great opportunity not only to, you know, build your resume, but also um to, you know, build your um social proof. To be honest, what Mom Charleston Food and Wine is March the sixth through the tenth. I'm sorry. The applications will go out next week, guys. So they are still, um, we already have everything put together. We've been working on this for a few months now. We're also going to do a nice little meet and greet with um, the Charlotte and Charleston chapter. So hopefully you guys can pop down, even if you're not going to do the externship and, you know, just have some fun with that. 
So we'll do a little bit of programming down there as well. Um, this, we do recognize that this is a more entry level externship, but it is a pilot program. So this is a program that we plan to do, both Charleston Food and Wine and I plan to do uh, moving forward for the next few years. And it will develop and grow um, not only in uh, you um it will you it will continue to grow in um people the number of people that we are able to accept but also um the amount of skills so right now like i said it's very baseline entry level but at the same time it's great the dates for charleston food and wine are the 6th to the 10th of march um i will be there as talent <laughs> popping around as always. Um, so that's a really great opportunity. Like I said, the applications will go live on the website, Charleston Food and Wine website, and also our website next week, which is waiting on one more thing that needed to be adjusted. I was very, uh, we were, you know, we partnered on this, was very um, intentional about what that was supposed to look like. And so they got to get some things right before they put that out. <laughs> that's all, but it's great. I'm, I'm excited about this partnership. And lastly, before I hand it over to Tasha, is Italy. So if you have not seen today, um, who knows what Vin Italy is? So you know how important or big of an organization that it like what the magnitude of that organization is. So Vin Italy put out a press release about our partnership today. So when I try to explain like what the magnitude of this organization is to have somebody like Vin Italy eager to partner and put out information to align with us, that's what I mean. So the Italy chapter is 100% happening. It is happening in April. We are having a informational meeting because I don't want to go too deep into this point here. Um, but we're having an informational meeting at seven o'clock tomorrow that has gone across the listserv with the link and everything. If you um, need it again, please just, you know, shoot an email and we'll make sure that it'll go out again tomorrow as well. Um, the dates for Event Italy are going to be April the 11th through the 17th. You knew this was coming. Um, mm -hmm. And so... We are super excited about this opening this chapter over here. We're excited about partnering with Vin Italy. Um, in the U.S., the partnership with Vin Italy, they, we are giving away two scholarships for their ambassador program, which is incredibly intense and expensive. And again, this is only for HUE members. Um, Vin Italy has never done a partnership like this before. So one more time, walk like you somebody. <laughs> Because we somebody, we somebody, y'all. Um, but uh, that, let me check the date and make sure I have the dates right on that. So the, the Then Italy course in New York will be um, two HUE members. We're giving out two scholarships and that will be March 4 to 6. I know it's cutting it close with Charleston Food and Wine. I'm just a facilitator. I'll make the dates. Sorry. Um, but we'll be giving out two scholarships for that. Scholarships applications are already open. They also have been sent across the listserv. So if you are interested in doing that, you should get that scholarship um, application filled out because you will need to study for this test. Um, the other thing is, we'll talk about the rest of Italy tomorrow, but I do want to give you a heads up. We can get a couple people over there expenses paid for Italy in the buyer's program, right? That is a part of the partnership from Vin Italy. And as a part, as, as the buyer's program means that you have to identify as a buyer. Um, if you work for a retail shop, if you have your own business, something like that, start thinking of something, but we can get a few people over there as a, I mean, the white is pretty easy for you. <laughs> um, uh, but definitely look at that. And there also have student um, applications as well that we'll, we will be able to facilitate, but you just have to be able to prove on some level that you are one 
of those two things. Um, and you'll get some or all of your expenses paid depending on what the um, grant is able to do from the Italian government at this point. But we are going to be um, opening the chapter. Super excited about that. It's gonna be lots of celebrations. We have lots of connections over there. Um, everybody's gonna be at Venitaly, so. Okay, thank you, baby. Um, just giving a heads up on that. I'm trying to make sure it was nothing else I'm gonna talk about with Italy. Uh, I think that that is it. Everything else with Italy, like I said, you can um, hop on the thing tomorrow. We'll give you all the information that we have. Um, and it will also be recorded. So if you can't hop on tomorrow, We'll send out the recording as well. And now I can go put my daughter to sleep real quick. <laughs> wow. Sasha. <laughs> Sasha uh, takes over uh, the programming that we have coming up. And that is, this is just for this quarter. So keep that in mind. Thanks, Tosh. Oh, no problem. Hi, everyone. As she said, my name is Natasha. And um, I've been doing the programming for the Hugh Society. And so for anyone that I have not gotten a chance to meet um, just yet, hello. Um, so for the first quarter, I hope that um, you guys have enjoyed some of the programming that we've done over the last 18 months uh, to two years. Uh, I try to be as diverse as possible. I try to look at things that on the surveys that you all are interested in. Um, so some of the things that we're looking at for this first quarter uh, to piggyback off of the Vin Italy partnership, we're gonna do uh, some programs with Italian wine tasting. Uh, so some educational programs with Italian wine, talking about terroir, uh, doing some tastings. Um, we're gonna do a workshop on Vin Italy, just giving people more information on uh, the, pro the event there what it's all about. Um, we're gonna do uh, a program with a travel agent for those who might be interested in participating, giving us some more information on the who, what, when, and where of the trip, where to stay, uh, some assistance with hotel, flights, all of that stuff. So more information on that will be forthcoming very soon. We're gonna have a biodynamic wine class uh, of course, Tahira is in the process of scheduling uh, the, some more of the executive roundtables that we we started last year. Uh, um, also, we're going to have the March Madness Wine Brackets come back again this year and um, a local in the Atlanta area, some local wine and spirits dinners uh, for the first quarter. So if anyone, I'm going to put my uh, email address in the chat. And if anyone has any ideas for any programs that they would like to see this year, or if there's a skill that you have or something that you specialize in, whether it be a study hall or and it doesn't necessarily have to do anything with wine. You know, if you are really good with social media or business, some sort of, you know, marketing or anything um, that you think that our members might benefit from yeah. additional info, just uh, let me know. So you can reach me via email. I'll get her. Um, does anyone right now have ideas that they want to throw out for any no. programs, anything that they're interested in and like us to work on? Sunny? Yeah, I think okay. you're on Hi, everybody. Okay. So I um one of I just booked my first event space for um for uh, just so just to get more members, like to let them know who we are and things like that. And my marketing idea for it was to do a QR code. Mm -hmm. And when I took it to my designer guy to do it, I'm gonna um order some cork coasters and he's gonna put the barcode on there but I was just doing it at first to put a link to the Hugh Society website and then our application but then he brought it to my attention like well how do you keep you know you can turn it into a keepsake and also okay. make it a thing for bars or for venues okay. so my question is 
is I'm not I'm so new to it like I was looking on the website and everything but I wanted to know how what are the incentives for venues and or for members outside of the you know chapter leads to you know like what are their perks and I emailed this to Shay but I don't I think I did it too late today but like the bar owner I only wanted one day but then she had her son call me and they're creating a menu, but mm -hmm. I wanted the menu to be at a discounted price for all HU members or people coming in because the event is free, you know, like okay. it's like a happy hour. But what's the incentive if they scan the barcode? Can I offer them like discounts off of the wines that are up under the HU Society? But where do I get that information from? So I'll, so I'll have to wine. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's a great idea because we definitely want to, you know, make sure that we're offering, you know, whether it be discount codes or, you know, discounts at local venues to the community members. And that's one thing that I think that a lot of times we forget about when we're working with these local vendors, you know, ask mm -hmm. them, you know, is there a way that if, if our members come in can they get a discount, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So that's something that she was, she was, she was, you know, excited. She like yeah. really wanted it because after COVID, you know, a lot of the places are hurting. So, right. and then some car just ran into her, but it's like a bookstore wine bar. And yeah. she's like, well, can I, can I, um, can I sign up under the business? Cause she went on the website and, you know, it gives you the option to be an ally. Right. So that's what I was wondering, like, can I tell her, you know, like, is there a fee for the business owners to sign up? Um, I'll get I'll get with Shay and um, I'll have her get with you tomorrow to see um, to make sure that we have all of the information that we need on that. To, and so we can get you guys linked up and get that business linked up with with the uh, website as well. Yeah, cause at the, and the only other question I had, I just had to, was like, if I go to DM, to the DMV, you know, the high squad, if I go there and I'm from Phoenix, like, what, what, what information do I, you know, like, how do I represent myself as a HUE member to receive the welcome? You know what I mean? Like, if anybody came here and they were out of town traveling, and I say, oh, we have an event or whatever, you know, where they get the discount or things like that. Or how do you recognize yourself as a, how do you guys recognize each other in different cities and states? So we're pretty informal. So I would say if it were me, if I were traveling to New York, which I've done before, I would just reach out to members there and say, you know, hey, I'm gonna come to the program or, or do you guys have anything going on? That's one of the things that Tahira talked about before. It's just a really informal community, which is what we want. We want everyone to feel welcome. You know, if you're coming into the town where there's a city or there's members um, in that city, we want everyone to feel welcome and not a situation where, you know, oh, I, I don't know anyone or I don't feel comfortable reaching out and making that connection. So, Will, would you agree that, you know, all she would have to do is just hit you up and say... Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And that's if she doesn't run into us first because we out here. But um, we know. We know. <laughs> Cut the light on. Y'all just all over the place. <laughs> but yeah, um, you can always hit us up. Um you can And we've had multiple people from different um chapters come into our events. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, just hit, hit us, us up, up in either, Discord. Through the email or through Discord and yeah, or through text if you have any of our numbers, or I'll give you my number. And you can just say, Hey, I'm in town and we'll make sure we got something going on for you. The other thing okay. that you can do is um, email the community email and um, say, hey, I'm going to such and such a place. Can you make sure that we link and, you know, we'll just throw you in a group email together. Oh, okay. Okay. That's good. But, but about that discount, um, Total Wine Man, <laughs> make sure we get the discount for my barcode. My event is February 25th. If, 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 you're, if you're in town and you're around me, we can make something happen. <laughs> We we got total wines in Phoenix. I know. I know. I'll, I'll be I'll be out there. I'll be out there soon. It's a big right. market. I'll, I'll be out there soon. All right. All right. I think Bianca had a question. Um... 
Hey, yeah, so I, um, I, I feel like I remember us talking about wine and culture dinners leading up to the event for this year. Is that something we're still looking to do in within each city that has an active chapter currently? Um, uh, yeah, for each city that we participate. Okay, how would we go about, um, I guess, working that out with you guys? Do we need to come to you with options? Do you have options already in place or people that you know you want to reach out to? How would we go about initiating that? Tasha, I'll let you just, oh, okay. Um, I think for us, it was about nationals partnering with the chapters and that way it's easier to kind of facilitate. So if you have some program or you have something that you want to get done or you want to do, then you know, I would I would write that up. Tasha is the person that you would, you know, approach with that and then we can figure it out from there. Okay. Yeah, I would just um Bianca just email your idea to me that way I can uh if it's something in conjunction with the festival, then I can take it to the committee meeting. And so we can kind of start getting the logistics down and what we need to do. Okay. All right. We'll do that. All right. Well, if there's no other questions, again, if I you guys think of something. Else, go ahead. Yeah, I got one. Can you hear me? I can. Hey, good people. Um, as you were talking, Tasha, I was, I was thinking about kind of where I'm at at total. And, you know, I work out of the store support center, which is the headquarters, but there are a lot of individuals who are looking to get into the industry in some way, shape or form, but they don't necessarily know the how. Um, last year, I was fortunate enough to be able to set up the Black ERG, which called Noir um, at the company. And it's comprised of about a hundred people. Um, between those hundred people, there are many different roles and responsibilities that folks have throughout um, the enterprise, and I'd love for a few of them to perhaps come somewhere in director positions, uh, for example, in marketing or supply chain. I'd love to have like an open forum or an info session, interest meeting about, you know, how to get into this retail space, um, and then also share some of the openings that may exist um, in the future coming down the pike, specifically in buying uh, merchandising and spirits, uh, beer and wine. So um, if you're interested in something like that, I can set that up. Yeah, I'll definitely, um, I'll connect with you tomorrow and, and then we'll, we'll um, get on a call and talk about that. That No, I think that would be great. Cool. All right. Any other questions or ideas? All right. Well, I'll throw it back to you, Tahira. Is that like an alley oop? Is that what that's called? Mm -hmm. I gotta like slam dunk it or <laughs> field kick it with a punt it. No. So, um. Okay. Well, if no one has any more questions or concerns or anything that they would like to bring up, now is the time. If anybody has a praise report, hallelujah! Now is the time. Um, I had two documentaries come out last year. <laughs> I was so geek when that Marriott came across my screen. I was like, come through. <laughs> um, anybody else? So nobody has shit going on. Like, come on. <laughs> Is anybody going to be in Sacramento in a couple of weeks for the uh, Unified Grape and Wine Symposium? What's the dates on that? It's uh, January... 22nd to 25th, I believe. I'll be there right after that, bro. I'll okay. be there. I think I get there on the... Actually, I'll have to check. I think I might actually be there. Okay. All right. Well... I'll be on a panel speaking about diversifying the talent pool. So um, in, in the industry, it's so just, uh, just a heads up there if you happen to be around. Um, Ralph said, what I love about our community that is that, well, what I love about our community is that much love came with support when I was at my lowest, especially when I moved from San Fran to Boston, 
I had no friends or connections here. Many referred their friends and family that are still here to check on me. I'm working um, at the Urban Grape until everyone comes through uh, the door about the Hugh Society community. Sorry, I would talk on camera, but I'm sick. No worries. I hope you feel better. But that is why I love community because when I was struggling to get settled here and felt lost, love came through with um, with open arms and I didn't even ask for it. Many folks in our wine community checked in on their own time and I'm grateful. Oh, that is so sweet. See, I almost got through this whole thing without crying. I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> no, that's beautiful. I really love that. And I love us for that. We have to take care of each other. So I hope that um, this resonated with you. I hope that you don't feel like it's a chore or a task. And I and I hope that, you know, you understand that the energy that you put out, the love that you put out, you will 100% be reciprocated with it. Um, and just be open to receiving that. That's my, so I'm working on this year is being open and paying attention, being open to receiving um, love. And I don't mean like in a way of like, um, that I've been rejecting it. I mean, like I move so fast and I have so many things going on that sometimes I don't, like I, you've never heard me say, oh, I was in this or I was in that before. I, I don't pay attention to it. It's just one, one more thing and I'm on to the next thing. And so I'm, I'm trying to be more open to just being in the moment of receiving and settling into the blessings or the, the goals and the things that I'm able to accomplish and um hoping that you guys will also be able to to do that well um no scholarships are not a secret please praise report you just got to do the praise dance though wait go ahead Siobhan I, I wanted to share that I received the um Hugh Society scholarship for my WSET level one testing and I have started my classes so I'm excited about that Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I hope that uh, I, I'm going to shout out Talika. She received the She Can Reward. You oh, did. You won't going to say nothing, but <laughs> from that, like, we're in that together. Like, she reached out to me on Instagram. Like, I recognized her from Hugh Society. So it was like a connection we had already. So it does go to show I am more of a silent member. I'm getting out of that in 2024. Um, but we had that connection via. Hugh Society. Um, so congrats, sis. Congrats. Thank you so much, Dina. Thank you, team. I thank her so much. I wasn't going to say anything, but she is such a blessing because I was so nervous and I didn't receive any email communication for a while, but rightfully it was the holidays. And I'm just like, you know, I don't know how to start. I don't know how the funds get to the master's court. I'm like, you know, and I was just so shaken up and she really calmed my anxiety. Um, you know, by um, being responsive and, and very supportive. So I thank you for that. And congratulations, Dean. Congratulations to both of you. You deserve it. So be excited about that. Um, I get... Um, I don't think she's on the call. I haven't seen her, but one of our members um, in Zynga was actually selected for the Wine, Wine Writers Symposium. Um, so I know she's been reaching out to us for some assistance and I just wanted to say, if you know her, just reach out to her and say, congratulations. Yeah. Great. Congratulations to her too. ATL, holding it down. Um, all right. We on a roll. Anybody else? I will share that I also got a Hugh Society scholarship and will be starting my WSET 2 this month. <laughs> Congratulations. We gave out a lot of scholarships last year. We have a ton of scholarships last year. Um, yeah. Don't ask me for no money. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But yeah, that's that's dope. I'm really excited about that because the more we're able to, to take up this space, man, Congrats. Oh, you go. Everybody got scholarships. Oh, you're welcome. This is amazing. Congratulations. So dope. Tiffany. Huh? What's say? Tiffany. Oh, hi. Can y'all hear me? <laughs> 
I got a scholarship as well. Um, I'll be taking my W set too. Um, I just got my books today, so I have everything, and I should be starting on the twenty second. Oh my god, this is crazy! Like, I mean, I knew obviously the scout this number of scholarships. I didn't realize all y'all were on here. Like, this is crazy. Look at us changing lives. I'm telling you. Ah, <sighs> God's work, man. This is God's work. I'm really proud of us. Thank you all for sharing. I'm like, my cheeks hurt. I'm like beaming so much. Like, this is so beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Seriously, like, this is so important. <clears throat> um. All right. Well, we are a little over time. I'm fine with it, but I don't want to, um, who's cutting onions? <laughs> I, I don't want to hold you guys. So um, again, as always, if you need anything, please reach out um, if we can help fulfill any of your dreams or goals or if you need to talk. The world is burning. We are aware of that and it's really hard out here. Um, but this should be a place where you can come and just find some joy and, you know, join the sipping socials. They're really fun. Like y'all be missing out. That's, that's the, that's the, that's the jam right there. Y'all, y'all came, came to the Christmas party and you thought, yes. like, have I ever was the, that was like a mild never have I ever I was like I'm trying not to push this too hard but the never have I ever is on <laughs> the, the, sip of the sip socials <laughs> <laughs> well, the socials be lit and you get to know each other and bond a lot more like you get to know a lot about each other like they're they're really great I'm going to host one it's going to be a surprise one so you're not going to know which one I'm hosting but I'm beyond it and it's going to be uncut. All right. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Talk to you later. Have a great night. Love y'all. Now I figure out how to stop this recording. Yeah.